Hello, my name is Allie and welcome to my channel. We are back with Radiant Tail, still on the common route. Let's go. Allow me to introduce myself properly to you. I'm usually stationed inside the capsule, and my work spans across a range of fields. One of my duties is supervising circus. I happen to be in Kalida this time, so I came here in person. But in the future, use this relay chalice to make your routine reports, please. I don't know why. I've tried to do the sentence like three times, but I always mess up, so I'm just going to leave it like that. <laughs> that chalice is pretty cool looking, though. I like that. Oh my, are you sure about leaving such a rare and precious relic in our hands? Yes, mostly because giving you free reign sounds terrifying. Make sure to take extra care when handling it. I like his, is that like a just a marking or is that scars under his eyes? I can't tell. It might just be a marking, but I don't know. I'll be mainly assisting all of you from a distance. If there's any trouble, feel free to contact me at any time. I will. Then, let's cut to the chase. I think you are already aware, but allow me to explain your duties once again. I doubt you received a coherent explanation, given that Ginny is our le your leader. The mission on your shoulders is much more important than you could ever imagine. Oopsies, wrong button. <laughs> Our goal was to cultivate blooming flowers which could melt the prince's frozen heart. That meant the prince's very future was in our hands. Though I understood the weight of it, having to face it head-on still made me anxious. It must be, after all, what we do will directly influence the prince's health. Exactly! What? Uh-oh, here he goes again. With his hand clenched into a fist, Aless leaned forward, eyes blazing with passion, and began bombarding us with enthusiasm. I gotta sneeze, hold on a second. Okay, I'm back. As you know, obviously, his highness is beauty incarnate and wise as a sage, an ideal prince with a brilliant future. From birth, he was blessed with talents like no other. He could interact with spirits and cast spells from the time he could crawl. And he did it with every element even without contracts. Although those of the royal bloodline possess an affinity for all four, by age five, his talent was said to rival the reigning kings. Can you even imagine how great of a loss it was for the world when he froze his own heart and locked himself away? I was still a youth during that incident, and was unable to be by his side. I can't even begin to describe my regret. Why hadn't I been born five years sooner? Uh, excuse me, uh, Alest? Shush. Just let him talk for now. He goes on forever when it's about the prince. If you interrupt, it's gonna last even longer. Seven hours straight is the record. That last until dawn. Oh, someone save me from this torture. I thought he was a much more proper man than Jinnia, but... Indeed, I have faith. One day his highness will look at me with a smile on his face. I am sure of it. This guy isn't normal either. My nose is itchy. Aleste proceeded to rant for an entire hour about how wonderful Prince Calivus was. And the ones who are the keys to saving such a magnificent prince are all of you. Remember that, imprint it into your hearts, and keep it in mind at all time. With those words, he finally finished his exuberant speech. I yes, sir. We shall do our best, sir. How many times did he even use the word prince in that speech? I kept count until a hundred. Wow, classic Aleste. He really loves the prince to bits. Vilio, I would advise against saying that, or he may begin giving another sermon. We were dead tired from listening to the long-winded mon monologue. Monologue? Derp. Monologue. <laughs> Finally, Aleste moved to the next topic. Now then, as for the show in the city, it shall be held in the Sage Tower. Huh? Does that tower even have the space for that? Yes, on the rooftop. Huh? On the rooftop? 
of the tower? I have arranged so that you can occupy the area temporarily. Use it as you wish. On that topic, for your information, that is supposed to be your job, Jinnia. Oh, don't be such a downer, Ali. That's so weird saying my actual name there. You like doing this kind of work, don't you? I only did it in your stead, because I happen to have other tasks here in Kalita. But this will be the last and only time. What? You're so stingy. Last shot an unimpressed look to Jinnia's direction before continuing. Now, moving on to the problems occurring here. I believe you have heard that the number of chloris blooming in a city would affect the floor, correct? Sure did. To make the flora thing bloom, we also need to solve the problems going on here, right? Exactly. From what I have seen so far, the city does not seem to have any apparent issues. What might the problem here be? The only thing I can think of is how inexpressive people seem to be, but... That is the exact problem. Many of the citizens lack strong emotions. It's not rare for researchers and scholars to, over time, only end up caring about data and numbers. I see. And chorus blooms from joy, so... If their hearts become detached, they would not bloom. I see. Isn't that normal for intellectuals? If that's their nature, wouldn't it be impossible to change it? Indeed. We could write it off as it being their dispositions, but... The researchers in the past made Chloris bloom. We are certain that the numbers only plummeted in recent years. Right, since researchers should actually have more curiosity and excitement than anyone else. I can't believe so many of them have lost that spark now. Flashback. Oh, is that her parents? Oh, I want to see their faces. Show me their faces. Even in my faded memories worn down by time, my parents had always smiled happily. To me, researchers were people who jump with joy whenever they came across the unknown. That's so sad. Lady. At any rate, if that doesn't improve, the flora likely will not bloom. I understand this is a difficult task, but it will save the prince and by extension this country. I'm counting on all of you. With that, Aleste left. That's a weird way to say A lest left. That's hard to say. <laughs> As for us, we took this opportunity to have a meeting to plan what kind of performance we should do. So, the people in this city lack strong emotions, huh? That must mean they don't really feel happy or sad, right? I can't imagine what that must be like. Same here. I honestly don't get it either. That means nothing seems fun to them, right? Hmm. I don't know about that. I don't think that's quite the case, but... Researchers and scholars should be really excited when they encounter new things. That's how it worked with my parents. Well, if we can't come up with anything while sitting around and talking, how about we explore the city and talk to the residents? Market research, you know? The answer might come crashing into our arms right away. You're right. If we don't know something, we should try to see it with our own eyes first. Yep, now you're talking. I need to look for someone with a talent for water magic, too, so that works out. If that's the plan, I've got stuff to do here, so I'll watch our tents for now. Or for us. <laughs> Does that sound good to you, Sephora? Eon? I'll make my own plans. If this is your command, I shall comply. Considering what had happened in the capital, I was somewhat worried. Was it truly the right move to have everyone split up and act alone? No, actually, I was far more than somewhat worried. Sounds like a plan. Come on, it'll be fine. Even without these guys, as long as we're on the case, it's all good. Okay, then. I'll see you all in the evening. Good luck. 
Toodles. I could see him saying that with a little wave, the little finger wave. Toodles. On that cue, we all went our separate ways into the city. Oh my goodness. All of a sudden, my allergies haven't been bad. So the first thing we are going to do, which is um, house time. I mean, for some reason, that's our first one. And I'm going to save because every every route has that as their first one, except for, who is it? Uh, I think it's, is it Ratty or is it, it I don't remember exactly. Is it Pascali? I don't know. I'd have to look. But um, one of the routes, it does not. I think it is Ratty's because it goes straight to, or no. Velio. It's Velio. That's what it is. I'm like, who is it? It's one of the red haired thingies. But yeah, it's Velio's route has, is totally different. You can like skip through the whole the whole part, which I wish we could do that, but I won't. I'll be right back. Let me save and then I'll come back. Okay. So what I just did is saved in four different slots at this point. So I won't be reading that first part all over again with each route. So just letting you know. After everyone scattered into the city. Oh, right. Okay. Let's go up to Jinia first and pass on the request I have for him. My mind made up. I headed towards Jinia's tent. I found Jinia in his own tent and decided to cut to the chase. Jinia, there's something I want your help with that'll affect the success of the show. My, my. And what might that be? You can ask me for anything. In Arthair, I think we didn't get enough people because the show wasn't promoted well. That's why, this time, I want to do it properly with flyers and posters. Could you arrange that? Uh, sounds like such a chore. I mean, I knew what I was walking into. But still, he just said that he'd be willing to help me with anything, and now this? I've already drafted up the contents and layout. Here. Oh, huh. When did you make this? Well, if the design is already finished, I'll be able to whip them up in a flash. Okay, I'll get right to it, mademoiselle. I threw that together in a rush earlier. Phew, I'm so glad I did. Please do, and by the way. Hmm? Yes? What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? My poor skin and nails aren't in tip-top condition, so I'm giving them treatment. Beauty, you see, isn't built in a day. I, I see. I can't believe that some part of me is used to Jinnia's antics by now. Everyone's investigating the city at this moment, right? I lived in this city for some time, and I've made doubly sure to peruse the reports from the castle. So... I don't have to run around. Wait, you've lived here before? Yes. Oh, well, kind of. I studied here, but I went back to the capital pretty often. So I shouldn't really call it living here. I know I flip-flop that. Whatever. Huh. In that case, may I ask what you know about this place, Jinia? Sure thing. Although, Ali summed up the report pretty well when he briefed us, so uh, how about I talk about my own experience? Yes, please. And I am going to let you guys go here. I hope you are enjoying, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!